Hey guys, and welcome to Monkey Island 2. It's been a long time since we played Monkey Island on the channel. And I'm sorry, I wish I had time for everything, but we'll get there one day. I ended up putting up a poll on Patreon yesterday because I didn't know whether to record Monkey Island 2 or Broken Sword 4. And interestingly, they were kind of even though monkey island 2 did just pip broken sword 4 at the post so we are going in to play monkey island today this beautiful theme music is making me so excited putting me right in the mood for this i cannot wait to get started a little bit of info before we get started there's no set schedule for the monkey island videos it's basically just when i get a spare chance to sit down and record. I'm going to have the videos a little bit longer, maybe between one and a half to two hours because I just don't know how often they'll come out. Maybe once a week, once a fortnight. It really depends if I get the spare time to sit down and record. So I'll be doing this more in real time with you. The date I'm recording this is actually the 3rd of August which is a Wednesday. I'm hoping if I can edit it I'll have it out on Saturday. Let's see how I go. But yeah just keep in mind that I don't know when the videos are going to come out but they'll come out eventually. I know point and click games like this is not everyone's cup of tea which is fine but I personally really enjoy them and I know that there is a beautiful little group of you guys out there that like them too so hopefully you will enjoy this playthrough. Alright let's get started with Monkey Island 2. Well well well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh hi Elaine. <laughs> uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Well, he doesn't. Uh, well, <laughs> it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. <laughs> Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy. I can't take it anymore. I think I know how he must have felt. <laughs> yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm going to be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Aww. Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Nice. Growing a mustache? <laughs> no, bigger than that. A beard? <laughs> no, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? Big Whoop. None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Oh. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace oh, else. Oh, that sucks. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. <laughs> the treasure of Big Whoop. <laughs> okay, that sounds absolutely incredible. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. <laughs> when I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. I think this looks absolutely beautiful. I love it. It is so, so gorgeous. Part one, the Lago Embargo. Or does that say cargo? I don't know what that says. I think it's Lago. Oh, look at that little loading screen. It's so cute. Press A for audio commentary. What is that? Oh, we're going into wood Oh. Tick. Don't go on that bridge. There's like, oh, don't. Oh. Oh my gosh. I always like this bit because the, the, the player always feels like they've, they've done something wrong. Right, without it's, knowing it. Yeah. People like would actually go back and try and play this again <laughs> to, to try and not get caught by him. On the oh, I, that's a, that sounds like a spoiler territory. I think audio commentary is maybe good for when you've actually finished the game and not not before you start okay oh look i am thinking that this is absolutely gorgeous and skybrush looks incredible what is that little thing down there is that a turtle 
It's a fish. It must be a fish. Turtle? I think that's a turtle. Look, I already know I'm going to be endlessly slow with this because I am enamored by how beautiful it is. Welcome to Wood Tick. No treads are hunting zone. <laughs> Wood Tick. Okay, can we go back? Whoops, uh, excuse me. Out of my oh. way, fancy pants. Oh. On second thought, stop right there. Who's that? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. Oh, you no. You gotta pay. I don't have a red herring. <laughs> I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. <laughs> I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> oh. oh, no, that's my precious no. coins. Please. Police. <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Oh no. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this who side. Who's this guy? Oh. Hey, you're loaded. Uh, this is my lucky night. Don't take my precious doubloons. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Lagra. Oh, Lago. That's him. Ugh. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Well, that is not good. So what if I go this way again? Does he get me again? No. Ooh, this is our scab island. We have a cemetery, peninsula, wood tick, beach. All right, let's just head back into wood tick because I'm not ready to leave. But that guy sounds like a real meanie. We'll just keep going. That is not a very good start. Do we have an inventory? Nothing. So he took our money, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. We have a door. Bloody lip. Must be a bar. The bloody lip bar. The bloody lip bar and grill. Doesn't sound good. Help wanted. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Ooh. Inquire below. That sounds like it could be very, very useful. I think we may have to get a job somehow. Um, I'm going to start this by going in the very first door that we find. Look, do we have a hint system? It looks like you can pick up something from the sign. I don't know what that means. But I'm very happy to see that we do have a hint system. It's just press H on the keyboard because I probably will need that. <laughs> oh, wow. Woodsmith. That's a beautiful calendar. Oh, boy. It's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Buzzsaw Girl? Who is that? Can I take it? So it's right click to examine. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. Okay, I better talk to this guy before I keep poking around his room. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. <laughs> Oh, no. But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? Oh no! A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which Guy gives brush. one of us an excuse for dressing funny. We are a pirate. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? <laughs> no. Like a voodoo doll oh, of Largo Legrand. A voodoo doll. Oh, I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. So I've noticed that if you hold down the right mouse button, you can, you have options. So look at calendar, pick up calendar. Hey, don't touch that. Oh, okay. No one touches her but me. All right. What if I right-click on this guy? Push. Oh, my gosh. Pull. 
use, look at, talk to. He looks buff. <laughs> nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. All right, what if I pick up? Get away from oh, there. Okay. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Everything's laid out just how he needs it, hey? What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Hmm, can I do something with that? What do you think you're doing? It's adjusted to my height. I want to... Oh, hammer? Nails? Look, I'm thinking I need to get this guy out of this room so I can mess That's with these stools. That's the best peg leg I've ever seen. Thanks. I made it myself. Hammer. Can I take the hammer? What do you think you're doing? No, okay. It's not a toy. All right, I'm not going to be able to do anything with this guy just poking around, am I? Hey, don't touch that. <laughs> what a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Okay, in here I've seen peg legs, hammers, nails, stool, workbench, the calendar. But I can't do anything with this guy in here. He gets very picky if I'm poking and prodding at his bits and pieces. I think that we want to... This help wanted sign, I think we will end up working for whoever has put that sign up there. So this is the bloody lip bar. Look at that guy's red nose. What's that advertisement? It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover oh, charge. Okay. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. <laughs> metronome. It's a metronome. Can I take it? No, thanks. Why? Too many bad memories of piano lessons. <laughs> I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Mm, that's okay. We can still play. I should have listened to my mother. Oh, I should have practiced. He doesn't want to play. That guy's spitting in the... He's spitting in the glasses. That is disgusting. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Mm, oh, I saw your sign. What's the job? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. Oh. I hired a new cook just this morning. Ah, oh, damn it. We're but too late. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Thank you. Is that job available yet? Is that job available yet? Sorry. That guy I hired is doing just fine. Oh, so you know what? We need to sabotage the chef. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Hmm. Marco's got all my regular smoke. Oh. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. A voodoo doll? What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Lagrange. Oh my gosh, he's going to hear that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Give indeed. me my usual and put it in a real glass. Ugh. That guy's awful. Oh, gross, please. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, we really need spit dripping down wall. Ugh. We need to get that voodoo doll somehow. What is he using to clean those glasses? <laughs> you don't want to know. Spit. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, boy? <laughs> want to see my scar? What? Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his <laughs> gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Um, what about we grog, ask for please? some grog? Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> do we have any money? Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. <laughs> Look at my beard. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Tell you what. I'll let you have some near grog. Hmm. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and 
foul tasting as that stuff grown ups Grown ups? Great. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? <laughs> I just sold the last of it to Kate. Oh, Sorry. who's that? Oh, rat. Of course, if you have some ID. Oh, I, I don't. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Uh. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. All right, well, maybe that's a potential girlfriend. Well, there's nothing I can really do. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. I think if I pick up this spit, he is not going to pick it up. I think we'll have to get a glass or a cup. Largo's been here. <laughs> I don't want to touch it with my hands. He doesn't want to touch it with his hands. That's sick. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. I think maybe if we get a drink from the barkeeper, we can put it in the cup. Hey, hired help oh. only. Oh, okay. Well, there's not much else that... We can't really do anything in here just yet. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep this in mind. We'll come back. So we've been to there and there, but what is, what's this place? What a dinky little door. <laughs> what a dinky little door. I can't go in? There's a sign there, but I, I can't go in there. Okay, okay, okay. So that ship must be where Kate is. Oh, hang on, I can go in there. It's just left click. There we go. Oh, wow. Hello. Hi. He's a cartographer. He makes maps. We have a few things here. A beautiful bed. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. <laughs> I mean, my um, sister once had. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with dolls. It's too small. It's too small? Really? Nice map. Yep. It does look good, actually. It's a pile of blank paper. Can I have some? Oh, I actually took some. It's blank. Nice. That's cool. All right, we better talk to the... Oh, hang on. <gasps> nice monocle. Thanks. I can't <gasps> see a thing without it. I took hey, it. Where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without my monocle. Everything looks all blurry. Yeah, me too. Where is that thing? Oh, no. I swear I put it right here. Can I take something then if he can't see? I can't see? reach it. I hope I didn't lose it. I can't reach it. I'll never be able to afford a new one. Oh, no. I feel sorry for this fella. How am I supposed to work? Oh, no. I feel Dang. bad. Uh, excuse me. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. I might have to give it back to him. But I have a feeling I need that monocle for some reason. Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Are you, but you can't see anything. <laughs> I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. <laughs> the who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Your files? Where is the files? Can I see your files? Actually, there's not anything in them. What? I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. So there, what do you know about it? Nothing in the it? files. Hmm. I know its location is a mystery. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, Inky island. but I don't believe that. Wow. Go on, finish the story. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, <laughs> that they never wanted anyone else to find hmm. it. So, they took the map they made of the island, 
and split it up among the four of them. Oh. And they all went their separate ways. I see. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library. All right. If it weren't for this stupid Lago Embargo. The Lago Embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. All right. Well, we need to find that map for him. Did I mention that I'm Guybrush the LeChuck Busting Stud? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I'm such a dope. Nice map. Thanks. Can I. Can't I do anything right? Can I take anything? Oh, shoot. Uh, excuse me. Who's there? Aww. I can't see anything without my monocle. I feel sorry for this dude. My name's Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Wally B. Feed. <laughs> I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Oh gosh, there's so many things to ask. Where's the governor's mansion? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. Mm. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. Yes, it does sound like that. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? How can I get <laughs> off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With the sailing embargo Largo's imposed oh. on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Right. Well, that's not good. We do need that voodoo doll of him. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Yes. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about mm, it. We've already paid. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. Mm -hmm. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. For himself? Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. What? I'm the map making sort of cartographer. <laughs> oh. Stupid guy brush. <laughs> What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Yes, they are. <laughs> Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> cartographer joke. <laughs> you know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too. They're best friends now. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. Okay. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. Aww. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. That sounds nice. Maps are very, very important. Yes, you said that. <laughs> Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. Not exactly. Is longitude the sideways one, or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, oh, no, be my guest. If you see my monocle, <laughs> let me know. No, I'm stealing it for unknown reasons. Okay, let's think about this. I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. We've got maps. I'm stuck here forever. We've got pile of paper. We've already taken one. Enough. I'm gonna starve to death in here. Should I give him his monocle back? Pick up Wally. I'm gonna die hungry, blind, and alone. I'm not dressed for wrestling. Look, I feel sorry Why me? for. How do I give him? This stinks. I'll, I've got to give it back just for now. Oh, there it is. Thanks. When he puts it down next time, I'll pick it up because I just feel sorry for him. And I don't really know what I'm to do in here just yet. So I'll just leave him there with his monocle. So I feel bad. We are going to go up there. Nice. I can see some roustabouts on there. Nice. Sleeping, drunk. There they are, look. 
Men of low moral fiber, otherwise known as pirates. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Okay. No, we don't clean leather. Oh, this is, oh, it's a laundry. Nice. He looks nice enough. He does. We have a box. We have a bucket. Let's talk to this fellow. Oh, I'd like to pick up some clothes. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? Oh, he's dead. You should deaf. treat her better than that. Oh, he doesn't hear very well. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. Oh, you're an I'm idiot. Clean, clean, clean. <laughs> Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. <sighs> That's because I'm Mad Marty. Mad Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the cleanest they can be. Great. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Oh, he understood that. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations? Do you do alterations here? Alterations? alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? <laughs> you got some nerve. Marty, you're I'm oh, sorry. weird. Well, I don't... I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mm. Well, I don't have a... I don't have a claim ticket. It was stolen. Yet. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. What about other pants? I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for <laughs> chocolate-covered ants? I dropped it in my grog and it melted. What's he going to say about that? I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Frog. Log melted oh, log. Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Damn it. I I'd need like this ticket. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel hauled. Mauled? I lost it while being keel hauled. Your dog got mauled? Yes, I got one what right. What does that have to do with a claim ticket? <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, bucka. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. <laughs> okay, well, not really sure what I can do. Clean it's laundry. Sparkly clean. No ticket, mm, no laundry. Yep, exactly. No ticket, no laundry. Oh, open the box. What's in there? Nice. Will the rat go in there? Ah, maybe I could... It won't fit in my pocket. Maybe I could prop the box... Nice. ...open with something for some reason. It's just a bucket. Just a bucket. Use the bucket. Use bucket with box. That doesn't seem to work. Why Why not? What do I have? I've only got paper. Oh, that's not much. They're sleeping peacefully. They are indeed. Wake up! <laughs> oh, they actually do wake up. Hi, guys. Uh, what is it? Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? <laughs> I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. Map? Uh, Is that the same I don't know what you're talking guys about. from last no, time? Really? Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? <laughs> Gorbush. <laughs> Is that your rat? Yes. Is that the one? We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. Hang on, is that the rat that we got out of the jail cell that time? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer oh. we uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Mm, he couldn't, couldn't refuse. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. And then what happened? We wanted happened? to take passengers on sightseeing trips. 
and search for a place called Drinky Island Drinky in our spare Island. time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. I wonder why. Aside from the obvious reason, <laughs> we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Really? Ooh. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. What? By the time we noticed, oh, we were taking are on you water kidding? fast. We ended up stranded on a <laughs> tiny desert island. That is so dumb. <laughs> when did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. <laughs> what? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already. He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism oh. of the cheese was essential. Okay. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. <gasps> Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Why? Give me money for the polish. Give me money for the polish. Okay. Oh, thanks. Nice. <laughs> Good. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Performing what? Uh, You're that's just right. asleep. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation, uh, so to speak. Okay. Right. That right. That actually sounds quite good. It, it has a lot of symbolism. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. Because of the rat? What? What's the word for it, Frank? <laughs> uh, uh, oh. <laughs> hmm, terraphermophobia? <laughs> it's the opposite of acrophobia. acrophobia. Something like... Orcophobia. Orcophobia. <laughs> Sounds more like workophobia to me. <laughs> Say what you will, we're not coming down. Okay. See you later. How do I get those we guys down We can scarcely down contain then? our anticipation. And do I have to get those guys down? Okay, the only things that I can see here that I need is the laundry ticket. Um, If I put cheese in that box... Nice. Perhaps, yes, we do have money. We have a piece of eight. If I put cheese in that box, we may be able to put the rat in there. Don't know why I would want to do that though, but that is something. I am going to go back and get um, the polish for the leg. <clears throat> Could I buy some wood polish? Could I buy some wood polish? <laughs> That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. All right, so we have wood polish. I don't think there's anything else I need to do right now. There is a ship on the far left, which I think Kate is there, but I'm going to fix these guys up with their, with his leg first. There, he's asleep already. Okay, so use the wood polish. Oh. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, use wood polish on peg leg. <laughs> Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Well, thank you. Does it look, does it look shiny? Nice. Can I pick it up? That wouldn't be wise. Why not? <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Okay, well, we... Actually, you know what? You know what? If I open the box, will the rat get um, confused? I want to put it in the box. Uh, don't... I wanted to put the piece of eight in the box thinking that the rat might get confused and think it's cheese. We're going to need some cheese. You know what from? From the, the cook? The chef? 
Okay, so let's go to this big ship where Kate should be, I think. Wow, this is an interesting room. We have a beautiful little pet alligator, a rope, guest registry, the innkeeper, a bell, door. All right, let's have a look at this guy. Busy guy. Yeah, what is he actually doing? I don't know what he's doing. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one oh, and it's full. Just the one. Damn. Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that oh. dang Largo eats like 30. Okay, Largo's here, I guess. I'd have to have a room first. You're supposed to leave these things open. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. I don't think I'd get away with that. Be with you in a second. Like you don't have to, because I know that there's nothing that we can do here. Alligator rope. Hmm. It's tied to the post. What if I... And it's securely fastened. What if I untie it? I need... I think I need a knife or something like that. And it's securely fastened. Okay. Oh, isn't that cute? It is cute, actually. I could lose a finger doing that. <laughs> I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. Look, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Hold it right there. That's a private room. Yes, a lago no is in there. there. Hold it right there. I told you, no going up there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Well, I don't really know what else to do here. I've it's got blank. wood polish. If only I could use this stuff on my lines. What does that mean? I've got wood polish. Oh, okay, okay. So what what now? What now? What now? I do have a thought about this monocle guy. What a dinky little door. If he puts down his Hello. monocle again. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. I have an idea. I'm going to pick up his monocle when he puts it down. Nice monocle. Thanks. Damn it. I can't see a thing without it. <laughs> I can't quite grab it in time. Pick up. I've... Gang, I've lost my monocle again. I've got an idea. I want to polish the monocle. If I don't find it soon, I'm going to lose all the monocle grabbing muscles in my eye. I don't want to polish that. Oh, I thought he could polish it and make it, like, all dirty or Here, something. Here, monocle. Here, boy. What if I use the wood polish? Crud. And give it to him. Can't I do anything right? What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Nobody move. I'll never be able to afford a new one. I can't reach it. Look, where is that I've got thing? no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. The bloody lip bar. The bloody lip bar and grill. Help wanted Help sign. Wanted. One week salary in advance. Inquire below. But they don't have the job there anymore, though. I guess I haven't been back to this guy for a while, the woodsmith. Is there anything that I can... Give him? Yeah. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing more to do with that guy. Could I give him the wood polish? Sorry, I don't give refunds. <laughs> Could I give him the monocle? No, thanks. Oh my gosh. Could I polish up his stool? I don't want to polish that. He wants to polish something, though. What if I polish one of these peg legs? I don't want to polish that. I don't want to polish that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel totally lost already. You know what? Maybe I don't stay in this place. Maybe I move on. Maybe I go over here to the beach. There's other places that I can do. So let's go somewhere else. Maybe there's, maybe I just have to do 
more things and then come back there. Nice stick. Let's take it. Huh. Can I polish the stick? I don't want to polish that. Why not? What if I put the... <laughs> what if I give the stick to the cartographer and he puts... He thinks it's his monocle. He puts it on. He pokes his eye. That's just cruel. It's just cruel. Ooh, look at this little beach. Hi, that's the guys that we were speaking to before. Bart and Fink. Hey, fellas. He's back. <laughs> I ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, besides the fact that we'd all <laughs> rather die than hear that story again, there's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Mm. Largo Legrand is back on Scab. We he know. used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. You don't want to get Largo on your bad side. I see. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. Yes, 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 yes. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's okay. because I blew it into a thousand pieces. <laughs> oh, no. Not this story again. <laughs> How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. Yes. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on <laughs> land, but it just didn't feel right. So just general burglary then. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. Mm. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Yeah. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Yes, exactly. Ew. <laughs> Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the oh, island. Oh, the peninsula, and there, I think. You'll meet a man named Captain Dredd. Captain Dredd. Yikes. It sounds intimidating. It does. Not really, <laughs> once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embark. Yes, exactly. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. <laughs> Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly. The weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive and Largo's quite a pest. What's good about it, but then? the thing I like about <laughs> Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or mm. police force, and no jail in which to ride. Yes. That was beautiful. That actually makes a lot of sense. Do you guys need know any more piratey songs? Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate, his parrot, and a tragic day at sea. You're not going to sing... Holly the Squawker <laughs> lives in Davy Jones' locker, are you? You know that one mm. always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Oh. So he won't sing it. Do you it. guys know any more piratey songs? Let me try one. Okay. <laughs> oh, 100 bottles of beer on the wall. 100 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 99 How bottles of beer on the wall. How far does he keep wall. going? 99 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Ninety-eight bottles of oh, beer no. on the wall. Does he really keep oh, going the whole bottles way? Ninety-eight of beer on the wall. Ninety-eight bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Ninety-seven bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, ninety-seven bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-seven bottles I'm of tempted. beer. I'm tempted. You take one down, pass it around. <laughs> Ninety-six bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, ninety-six <laughs> bottles of beer on the wall. 96 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Da 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 da
He's given up. <laughs> you take one down, pass, pass it around. around. I think he's finished. You take one down, pass it around. <laughs> Four. Four bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Three bottles of beer in the wall. Four, three bottles of I'll beer I'll let him keep going three to the end. Three bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Two bottles of beer in the wall. Four, two bottles of beer in the wall. Two bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Five hundred and eight. Oh no! Five hundred and eight no. bottles of beer on the wall. No. Oh, five hundred and eight bottles of beer <laughs> on the wall. Five hundred and eight. No, you bottles idiot! Of beer. Why would you do that? You take one down, pass it around. Five hundred and seven <laughs> bottles of beer on the wall. Four. Oh, four bottles of beer. On okay, the wall. that's enough. Four forty-two. Of beer. Let's do forty-two. Forty-two. You take one down, pass it around. Da 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 do be dee dee. Oh, 42 bottles of beer on the wall. 42 bottles of beer. You take one down, okay, that's... pass it around. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I was done. <laughs> that's enough. Do you guys know any more party songs? Oh, I wish I could parley some French with Governor Marley. <laughs> I'd say to her, voulez vous. <laughs> okay, that's enough. No songs about Governor Marley. <laughs> Looks like Guybrush is still carrying a torch for the governor. Mm. Too bad he can't even talk to her in English. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Sorry, Mr. Sensitive. The only other songs I know are <laughs> dirty ones about Governor Marley. Me too. <laughs> well, I wonder if they'll sing. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Sorry, no, Mr. Okay. Sensitive. No. The only other songs <laughs> I know are dirty ones about Governor Marley. All right. Me too. We've done pretty well to exhaust a lot of those lines. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. Then what are you cooking? What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for oh, under my eye pads. Gross. We're just sterilizing. Oh, it. the sterilizing. We're pirates, okay. Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? They're they're cool. I like them. I like them a lot. Nice. 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 <laughs> That's all he's gonna say. This is actually quite good. It's quite good. Nice. Nice, nice. Steam and weenies. Oh. 20, 20. Steam and weenies. 20 feet. 20 feet. What does that mean? You can't pick that up. Oh, uh, a little shack. What does that sign say? Oh, that's a nice little shack there. Wrap scallion steam and weenie hut. Oh. Place order here. Okay. Mm, looks closed. Oh. Mm, looks closed. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Damn it. Nice. So we can't go in. Bugger. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I thought I could get these guys a weenie. Is there anywhere else to go here? We cannot keep walking. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I give them stuff? Do they want any of this stuff? Well, it doesn't seem to work. Okay, well... Alright, well, I don't think there's anything else that I do here. And there's nothing else that I do in this town of Wood Tick. There's a cemetery and a peninsula. So, we may as well... Oh, a swamp. Let's have a look. Let's have a look there. Oh, International House of Mojo. This is spooky. International House of Mojo. 
Very spooky. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Oh, you can use that as a boat? It looks murky. Cool. All right, well, I guess we go in it as a little boat. Oh, that's awesome. How cool is that? So where... Oh, this is spooky, spooky. Very, very spooky and weird. Hello. You kind of look familiar, a shack. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? That's not good. This actually kind of reminds me of in the first one with um, that clairvoyant lady. Wow, so what is actually here? It appears to be yo-yo string. Well, just take a little. <laughs> yes, let's take it. Display model. It appears to be bolted to the table. Bolted to the table. Maybe I could use something from the workshop, the woodsmith guy. Skink toes. Ew, skink toes. Tender touch pirate powder. <laughs> prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. <laughs> Awesome. Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Can I take anything? No, that stuff's way too technical for me. Tender touch. No thanks. I don't need it. Why not? I don't have an eye patch or any missing limbs. That other guy does with his peg leg. Oh de Mojo, the mystical aroma of Voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Can we take? No thanks. I don't need it. Voodoo's not known for its good smells. <laughs> Bat wax. Bat wax. No thanks. I don't need it. Wow, there's so many jars here. Cat dewormer. Cat dewormer? No thanks. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't have a cat. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Fruit cocktail? No thanks. I don't need it. There's gotta I be. Don't like heavy syrup. There's gotta be some jar here that we need to take. Spider lungs. Oh, that is not good. No thanks. I don't need it. I feel bad for the spiders. Oh, that's really nice. I brushed. Golden Tongue, the five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. We could use that. No thanks. I don't need it. I don't have that problem. Anymore. Anymore? He doesn't have it anymore. Ash to Life, the uncremating cream. Oh, wow. Hey, that's just a display model. Who's that? Oh. Guy brush. Is that that same people. lady? It's been a long time since you last came to see oh, me. Hi. How about that jar I was looking at? Do I know you from somewhere? That She's from the first one. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? Mm -hmm. It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> what was her name, though? I forget her name. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Nice. Saved many people from the evil eye. Good job. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of yes, them. Yes, of course. I do wonder if she'll be able to make a voodoo doll. That may be something to use her for. Uh, about that jar I was looking at? That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. Brings the dead back to life. Who? Who would we use that on? I'll take it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the oh. subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Okay. Boy, voodoo's complicated. Yes, it Moves is. Our rules. Does it cost any, any coins? Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Mm. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Okay, that sounds very ominous. So I'm thinking that even though we think we did away with LeChuck, I think he comes back in some way or another yeah this why don't you just put a curse on largo why don't you just put a curse on largo 
I've tried. Oh. My most powerful magic yes. lies in voodoo, the voodoo dolls. dolls. Yes. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for I'll me. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Yes. Uh, maybe? Yes. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. <gasps> one from each of the, the four spit basic voodoo groups. The spit on the groups. wall. Something of the thread. Clothes. Something of the head. Spit. Something of the body. Maybe spit. And something of the dead. Don't know. <laughs> hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clue. Yes. And a lock of hair will do hair. for the head. Okay. Bring hair. me a sample of fluid from his body. The spit. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. That's here. Take the shopping That's list. weird. How do I do that? Where right. where now would I find go. that? Thank you, but I wasn't finished talking to you, lady. I wasn't finished. Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Yes, I have more to talk about. <laughs> well, I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard oh. road for you, Guybrush. Really? Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. Mm, that is really sad. Okay, well, that's it for now, I well, guess. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. <laughs> so be it. I can't really look around her room, but I am not finished looking at these jars yet, I don't think. I have one more to look at. They're unlabeled. Unlabeled. Okay. Bottles, bottles, books. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. We have a skull, string, which we have picked up. So now we have string. We have a monocle. We've got the voodoo shopping list. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to collect all of this stuff. Hey, I think I'm finished in this Creepy, room. but apparently seaworthy. Skull. Maybe I should be using... If only I could use this stuff on my lines. What about, like, on the skull then? Well, I don't want to polish that. Okay, well, let's just go... I think we're finished in here for now until we can figure out how to get the bits and pieces that we need. So I know that Largo is staying in the inn right now. Um, that should be a place to get perhaps his clothes and a lock of hair from a brush, from his brush. We can get the spit off the wall. <gasps> The dead relatives, ashes, cemetery, cemetery, right here. Warning, quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Oh, wow. Let's open that up. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Oh. But then again, why would I want to go in there? Because <laughs> I said. <laughs> Ooh. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. Oh. Here lies Hank Plant. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. <laughs> Hank Plank. The Ricketts. No trespassing. Okay, Ricketts. No trespassing. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. <laughs> the Quagmires. No trespassing. Hmm... One of these has to be a relative of Here Lago. lie the Gordo brothers. Gordo. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the earth can hold them. Aww. The grouts. No trespassing. What if I open it? It looks like it's been sealed oh. shut. Can I open any others, though? It looks like it's been sealed shut. No, no, no. Okay. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Ooh. It looks like it's been sealed shut. This is the only one. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. That has been... shut with something different. I don't want to polish that. I thought I could... Um... Hang on, can I combine... I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. That 
makes sense. I think I'm too clumsy. So maybe we can put the stick somewhere. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work. 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 Okay, so we know that the... I think I'm too clumsy oh. to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same fishing. time. Fishing. Is it used for fishing? Well, I need to somehow combine them together and I, I don't really know how yet. We need to put the stick somewhere. The grave of the unknown pirate. Oh, wow. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. One of these is going to be Largo's relatives, for sure. Marco Largo <gasps> Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good That's news is it. he's dead. The bad news is he bred. How? Mm, how do I... I'm going to have to get a shovel. I need a shovel. There once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. <laughs> She didn't get wed, she got buried. Oh wow, that's not a good outcome. <laughs> no man commanded jean Louise, not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. <laughs> Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I don't have anything Nice. That I could use to... You stick with grave. That doesn't seem to work. Nice. Uh, nice. Nice. It's not nice. It's a grave, you idiot. Okay, so we know that there's a grave there. We need a shovel. I don't have a shovel. But that's what we need. Okay. All right, I have a fair bit to now think of. I'm on the right track with quite a few things. I've got a lot to do. I've got my mind whirring away with all the things that we kind of need to do in the background. Let's head over to the peninsula. So this is our last place to visit on the map here. There are many things that I need, but I doubt they're all in this one place. What's that sign? It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters, oh. 20 pieces of eight, inquire within. Captain Dread, but we have one piece of eight, and that's about it so far. It looks pleasant enough. Looks lovely. It's very peaceful. It's beautiful. I love a house with that nautical look. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's go into the houseboat. Ooh, so that's Captain Dredd. I stupidly assumed it was a man. Oops, oops, I went out. I, I love went a out. house with that nautical look. Go in, go in. I wanted to look at, um, I wanted to look at things. <laughs> okay, I guess we don't look at that I thing then. I love a house with that nautical look. Get in there, guy rush. All right, so she is, a, hang on, is that a, that's actually, that could be a boy. I apologize. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. I thought it was Are a boy. Are you Captain Dredd? Yeah, man. I'm oh, Captain Dredd. it's a boy. Yep, 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 yep. What can I do for you? Ooh, Natty Dredd's. Oh, that's... Is Natty bad? Is that a bad word? Like, does that, is that an insult? I don't want to say that. Natty Dredd's. Dang's mom. Oh, that's a good word. <laughs> Thank goodness, I want it to be nice. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because Lago. a while ago, oh. I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. 
Besides, hmm. that mean and nasty guy Largo, yeah. he has an embargo on the island. Yes, he does. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. No. What about the necklace? Is that the monocle, the eye of the world? Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. Ooh. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. The navigator. That's not the map. Guy. The navigator and he had an eyeball. Look, I can't remember if we've seen that in the in the first game, but we've been to the island with the cannibals on it. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm really curious if we have met that guy. I very much remember the island with cannibals. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Lago has an embargo on the island. Hang on, that necklace is not the necklace that we wore at the very end that took us around in the caverns, was it? That's because that that's got to be it. That's his lucky sailing necklace. I can't remember what happened to that, guys. And I've not seen it here on this island. Hmm. I got to run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. There is honestly nothing that I can think of doing now. I've got a string, a stick, piece of eight, a paper. Man. What do I do now? I don't go any further that way. Oh man, I am sort of lost. <laughs> All I can think of is just going back to Wood Tick. I can't really see anywhere else to go around here. Hmm. <gasps> is that a shovel? Welcome to Wood Tick. No treasure hunting zone. That's a shovel. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Oh my god. Okay, off to the cemetery. <laughs> I was thinking, I've never seen a shovel. I'm not going to find the shovel. But we found it. That's awesome. It's so funny because you have to keep so much in your mind about the things you need to do, the possible tools that you need, and... You know, my memory fails me sometimes. It gets a bit tricky. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. <laughs> Thrifty dig. I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's dig this, this up. This creepy feeling. It is a bit creepy and weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is not good, guy. What have you found? I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. <gasps> oh gosh. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's in his little. That's in his little room. Oh no. He just knows that something weird is going on, right? not good okay let's head back to wood tick we've got one of the ingredients so far for the voodoo doll which is i think really really good i'm gonna have a look at that look at the bone gross yeah it is kind of it is kind of gross right that is fantastic all right i'm gonna go into the hatch and see if I can get this job just yet because I need to pick up that spit oh you know what I don't know when this job is going to be available 
Yeah, boy? Uh, is that job available yet? Is that job available yet? Sorry, mm. that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Doing just fine. Okay. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Mm. I don't... I don't really know. I don't really know. I think we could try to... The alligator here in the ship? Um... Hang on, is that door open? Did he leave? Hold it right there. I told you, uh, no going up there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Can I actually... It's blank. ...do anything? That doesn't seem to work. Okay. <laughs> Trying my best here. That alligator, like, he's asleep. He's asleep. I could lose a finger doing that. The rope, the rope, the rope. Can I cut the rope with the shovel? I can't dig that, Daddy. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look, I have no idea. I don't have a laundry thing. <gasps> oh, that's where I get the clothes from. His laundry ticket. His laundry ticket. Hang on. If I open that box... I am just obsessed with this box for some reason. Can I prop that up? Yes, I have propped it up. Can I tie the string on this on the stick now? Why? You know what? I'm going to have to put some cheese in there. I'm going to have to put some cheese in there. Trap the mouse in the box. But I get the cheese from when we take the cook's job, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we can give piece of eight to... I don't know. Hey, I don't <laughs> launder money here. <laughs> Try investing in a casino. Oh, can I talk to these guys? <laughs> no, they won't yep. wake up. Use bucket. I'm not holding it. Do we have anything I can put in the bucket? Oh, I don't know, hey. Eh? I need to get some cheese to put in the box. And then I think I use the mouse as bait for the alligator. All right, I'm going to have a little peek at the hint. Tell me what to do next. There is something out here you can pick up. Hang on, does that just mean in this room or in this room? You could probably make good use out of the paper. Uh, well, let's go back here because I wasn't sure that that hint applied for this section or all of it. Okay, so something out here that we could pick up. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, Not let's see. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. You know what? It's going to be the mouse that we can pick up. Pick up the peg leg. Why though? That wouldn't be wise. <laughs> I think it's the mouse. It's the box. It's going to be the box. And the mouse. Nice. That's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. But I won't be able to do that until I get like some cheese to put in that box. So I'll just leave that for now. I did get that hint of making use of the paper in here, but I don't really know what to do. Let's try. Uh, oh, yuck. nice. 
We have the spit. We have the bone. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Okay, so now we need hair and clothes. Hair and clothes. Hair and clothes. Well, that is very good. Hey! Hired help only! Hired help only. Well, we won't be able to go in there, will we? <sighs> I feel stuck. We've got a couple of things. We've got a couple of things. Look, I don't know what to do with this woodsmith guy either. He's got nails, a hammer. Can I show you? Give him the shovel. Thanks. Don't need it. Okay. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, I can't. That's um, sick. <laughs> I can't give that stuff over. No, thanks. Hmm. Workbench, workbench, stool, chair, peg legs. I don't know, guys. I'm going to get another hint for this woodsmith guy. You're still missing a few of the ingredients to make the voodoo doll. Yes, I know, I know. Is that just what we have to work on now? But what do I, what do I do next? This is so hard. I'm stuck. Look at the voodoo recipe for clues about the ingredients you need. Yes, I know, I need hair. And I need clothes. I need hair and I need clothes. I actually love how the hints aren't too crazy. Like they just sort this of stinks. give you a little bit of a nudge in the right direction. I can't believe somebody would steal it. I feel sorry for this guy. I'm going to starve to death in here. Back in wood tick. <laughs> Lost. I need cheese. I need cheese or something for the mouse to put him in the box doing that will allow me to pick up the box with the mouse i think i used the mouse on the alligator oh there's got to be something else i need this cheese thing window Oh, what? There's no glass in the window. There's no glass in the window. My mouse is not working. Open the window. There's no glass in the window. Can I just go? <laughs> You're joking. I did not even see that. A knife. That I can cut the alligator. String. The rope. Vichy Soa. Oh my gosh. It's a cold potato and leek soup. <laughs> it's too heavy. I, I wanted him to say Vichy Soa. It's a cold potato and leek soup. I really wanted him to say that. I don't know if I should actually speak to the cook canned goods. Oh my gosh, that's the door out to the place. I don't want to go there. The fire's out. The fire is out. I bet it weighs half a ton. I'm no cook. The fire is out. So he's just throwing potatoes into the soup. Can I talk to this guy? He looks really into his cooking. He seems happy. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. All right. That is fine. Ugh. It's all cans of fruit cocktail. I hate fruit cocktail. But what about the mouse? He might like fruit cocktail. All I can see is water. Vichyssoir. Do we have anything to pick that up with? Knife. Knife, knife, knife. Um, canned goods. I kind of wish that there was a button that I could press. And that everything that I can do would be highlighted. 
because I get I get lost. Left and right button object highlight. Let's try. Can I do that? Can I do that? Oh, oh, I, I'm happy. I'm happy because that then glows. It tells me what the, the stuff that I can actually interact with in this place, which is cool. Can I do anything? Actually, what's going to happen if I walk out of here? Is that guy going to... Rocket might see me. Oh, yeah, he might see you. Okay, 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 okay. All right, well, let's get out of there for now. <laughs> He's so cute. Yes, it highlights things. Oh, my gosh. I am very, very, very happy. Okay, with the knife, I am going to go and cut the alligator string. I am going to cut that. It's tied to the post. Yes. Hey, how'd old Pegbiter get loose? I'd better yes. go catch him before he catches somebody else. Pegbiter. Oh my god, that's funny. What's in cheese his bowl? Squigglies. Cheese. One of my favorites. I've got cheese. I've got cheese. Okay, so now we can go into this door. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm happy. Oh man, you have a messy room. There's heaps of stuff here. Leftovers. They look pretty old. That's gross. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow <laughs> penicillin. <gasps> Who let you into my room? I uh, thought it was my room. Well, it ain't. So get the f out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Is he still in there? What are you doing in here again? Ah, uh, bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I saw he had a wig, but that's not enough, is it? That's not enough for it, for the hair. I need to somehow get him out of the room. Perhaps that's where the mouse will come in handy. Let's go and put the cheese. Let's make sure that, yes, yes, everything's good. I love this highlight thing. That, it's, it's amazing. Let's put the cheese squigglies in a box and trap the mouse. And then we'll pull the string when the mouse gets inside. He's got to get more inside though, doesn't he? All right, let's try. Yes. Nice. Yes, it is nice. It won't fit in my pocket. Then what do we do with the mouse in the box then? It's closed. I've put the mouse in the box. What now? <laughs> Interesting. I've put the mouse in the box. I would have thought I'd be able to pick the box. Oh, I don't want to open the box. Nice. Can I do anything with that bucket? I don't know. Hey, leave that alone. What? Do you think you could let me have this bucket? No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. <laughs> pretty, pretty please? No. Pretty please with sugar on top? No. Why not? Pretty please with sugar and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, <laughs> nuts, and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, a cherry, and chocolate sprinkles? Yum. No. I really, I need... really need it. No. I really, really need it. No. I really desperately need it. No. I don't know why, though. It's a matter of life and death. No. If you don't give it to me, I'll never speak to you again. <laughs> no. I'll be your best friend. No. I'll be your best friend forever and ever. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Be a pal. No. Oh, all right. What? 
Are you kidding? We actually got it. It's just a bucket. What do I use the bucket for, though? Bucket, 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 bucket. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Use bucket with box. I don't think that'll work. Ah, uh, then what's the bucket for? <laughs> bucket. What is the bucket for? What's the bucket for? Picking up. You know, where did where did Peg Biter go? The crocodile. Where's Peg Biter? You know what? I think we could use the bucket to get some of the soup, the vichy soie. Let's try. There's no glass in the window. All right, let's have a look. Use bucket with vichy soie. I hate vichy soies. Oh, he actually said it. He actually said it. I hate vichy soies. I like that. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. I like that he said vichy soies. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know where Peg Biter is, but I know that this wood guy had lots of pegs. Is he here at the wood guy's place? No, he's not. Okay, so this guy is gone, right? You're supposed to leave these things open. Can I take the bell now? I don't want to steal his bell. Why not? I feel not? bad enough setting his alligator free. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice. Can we can we go in there? Is he still there? Oh man! Quick, open, open, open! I need to find it's the already open. laundry ticket. Take, take, take! Yes. Yes. Um. 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 Oh. I need to find the laundry ticket. I don't see anything special about it? Laundry again, ticket. Laundry I never ticket. Never really have understood art. Laundry ticket. It's empty. Open, open. Oh, it's... It's already open. Okay, okay. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? Bed. Where is this guy, though? Messy, messy, messy. It is messy. Largo could be back any minute. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I would love to find his laundry ticket. Like... It's empty. The door is empty. Okay. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. <laughs> Why not? Nice. Oh, man. It's got to be something that I haven't done. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Wow. Okay. Well, we have the hair. The toupee. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Ew. Please. That's gross. <laughs> Where is Largo's clothes, though? It's sparkly clean. It's got to be one of these things. I don't know what to do. Bucket. What have I got? Can I give the bucket? What would I do with that? Can I give him the... I don't think I should do that. I don't think I should do that. Can I give him the knife? What would I do with that? I need a laundry ticket. I need Lago's laundry ticket. And I don't know how to get it because it's not in his room. <sighs> I've got no idea what I'm doing. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. There's nothing in here for me to use at all. Pick up swamp. <laughs> I don't want to touch it with my hands. Put it in the bucket. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. A bucket of mud. It's a bucket full of mud. I don't think I should do that. I don't think that'll work. Bucket of mud. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. 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 Uh, nothing works. I don't want to go and see the lady because 
the voodoo lady because I don't have all the ingredients. I just need to get his clothes. I need to get this fella's clothes. Largo's clothes. But there's nothing in his room to get. And I've looked everywhere for Largo. I don't even know where he is. At least I can get in his room, but I don't know where he is. He is nowhere. Hang on. Oh, I thought I was actually hiding behind. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. Nice. Messy, messy, messy. <laughs> it doesn't seem to stay ah. closed. It doesn't seem to stay closed. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I can't dig that, Daddy. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. I thought I could sort of get it to stay I don't want to polish that. closed somehow. I don't think that'll work. Why not? Bucket of mud. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Oh, man. I'm stuck. I need some hints. You need to find a way to soil Largo's clothes. Oh no, god! No. Oh, sorry! I was just leaving. Whoops. Um. So there's no clothes to be found in his room, right? Does that mean the clothes that he's actually wearing then? Get out of my room! So when he's not in his room, I've looked around everywhere to find him. I can't find him. He seems to leave his room after a while, but then comes back into it. I have the bucket of mud. That's the only thing that I could probably use right now to soil his clothes with. But when, when he is there in his room, there's not really much that I can do. It doesn't give me an opportunity to do anything. Like I thought I could throw the bucket of mud at him. I'm gonna need some more hints. There is something in here you can pick up. Yeah, but I think it gives me hints that I've already done. Look at the bowl on the ground. Yep, I see I've done that. Pick up the cheese squigglies. I've done that. <laughs> okay, well, let's get some hints from Largo's room. Is he still there? Yes, no. You could try to soil Largo's clothes with a bucket of mud. Put the bucket of mud on top of Largo's door? Use bucket of mud with the door. I think I hear Largo coming. Oh, nice. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? I could not figure that Whoever out. Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. <laughs> when I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Nice. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. <laughs> So where, um, has he gone to the laundry guy now? I reckon he has. I reckon he's gone straight up here to the laundry guy. But that doesn't, we, we don't have a laundry ticket. You're making me is. mad, Marty. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Look. I want it free, and I want it tonight! Free? Ready tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. <laughs> what? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. <laughs> this is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Sure. 
Maybe I'll tell him that he said for us to pick it up. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at oh, me. No. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. All right. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. So is the claim ticket in Lago's room? So we have to go back there to his room. I didn't see Lago taking off his muddy clothes and putting on the new clothes. I would have assumed he would have done that in his room here, but he just went straight there. Like, where did he get the new clothes from? Where is the claim ticket? It's already open. It's empty. Well, where's his damn claim ticket then? I can't see the claim ticket. Where is the ticket? I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. They look pretty old. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Oh! Amazing! Yes, let's get out of here. That's the laundry claim ticket. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have the laundry claim ticket. We have everything that we need. Once we hand over the laundry claim ticket, we then have everything that we need to give to the voodoo doll lady to make this voodoo doll. Oh my god. This is so hard. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? Yes, we do. <laughs> Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. Beautiful. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, look at those cool clothes. Now, where was it? Oh, look at the boots. <laughs> ah, here it comes. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Nice April fresh scent. That's not it, though. I guess I'll be going now. But that's... What? I guess I'll be going now. What? That can't be it. That can't be it. Unless it is it, and it's just weird. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I've got everything I need for the voodoo doll. We have the hair, we have the clothes, so I'm dubious if that's the right clothes. We have the part from his body, which is his spit, and we have the dead person's thing, which is the bone that we dug up from the grave. Uh, next episode, we are going to go and see the voodoo doll lady, get the voodoo doll, and go from there. <laughs> I think that if we put the curse on Largo, then the embargo will be lifted. We'll be able to sail out of here, but we do need 20 pieces of eight, I think the captain said. We don't have that, so I don't really know how we're going to get the money to get out of here unless we do some sort of favor for him. He does need that necklace to navigate though, and I'm pretty sure that's the necklace that we had. That was a little, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. I'll have to Google it and remember what that necklace looked like. It had like a little talking, didn't it have a shrunken talking head on it? I don't remember it's been so long since I played but I can remember putting the necklace on and then going through the caverns so I'm pretty sure that's what he means but I don't know where that is well that is episode one of Monkey Island I hope you guys enjoyed it was pretty tricky to begin with but it's so beautiful I love it and Guybrush is exceptionally charming and witty I'm really loving this so far I hope you guys are as well and I'll see you again in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.